going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pup. Guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. All right guys, this is part two of the first video that I did talking about the most expensive Funko Pops of all time. Today we are going to talk about the most expensive in my collection. I think we're going to go through about 10 Pops here that I have that are the most valuable in my collection according to the Funko app. And now in my last video, I talked about pops that were worth like thousands of dollars. I'm not quite to that point yet. Don't get me wrong. I mean, these are worth a good amount, but nothing, can't even hold a candle to what was over there in that video. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely go and check that out. But guys, without any further ado, let's get this started. Coming in at number 10, we have a Funko Shop exclusive for you. This is Captain Cutler. So this came out last year. Um, this came out, like I said, to the Funko Shop, and it doesn't say that it was limited to any specific amount of like pieces or whatever, but uh, from rumors, I think it was limited to about 5,000 pieces, and uh, this guy is really cool. So he glows in the dark, and this is the only version of him as well. There's not like a common version or whatever, but he goes along with all the different Scooby-Doo uh, monsters slash villains um, that are a part of that line, but this guy's really cool, and uh, yeah, he goes for $75. So, and out of all the villains, I would have to say this is probably my favorite out of out of all the villains that have come out so far. But there you guys go, there is Captain Cutler coming in at number 10. All right guys, coming in at number nine, next up, this came out in 2017. This was also a Funko Shop exclusive, came in a three pack. And uh, you're gonna see another one that came in this, in this package or whatever of Pops. Um, and this one came out, like I said, 2017, and it is the Trix Rabbit. So this guy is really awesome, uh, and it trends for $75 according to the app. And it's been anywhere between like 100 to about this price um, between that time period of 2017. But the only way that you could have got this was if you bought a bundle with uh, Lucky the Leprechaun, Sunny the Cuckoo, and as well the Trix Rabbit. And this came out like right, I think it was the day of New York Comic Con, I believe, in 2017. So that's pretty interesting to see that guy. But this guy's really cool. It's the only, there's another version of the Trix Rabbit that's out there and uh, he's flocked. But, anyways, guys, coming in at number nine, it is Trix Rabbit. Number eight, guys, this is a baseball pop. I love collecting various baseball pops, a lot of the MLB mascots. This isn't a mascot per se, uh, but this one came out in 2018, was exclusive to the Seattle Mariners. Um, as a giveaway, and it is Ken Griffey Jr. Now this guy is going for $80 according to the Funko app, and this one's pretty sweet. So I did talk about this one um, sort of in my past video when I was talking about the most expensive Funko Pops of all time. Gold variant of this guy was 24 pieces, and he was in the top 10 according to the Funko app. I think it's somewhere around like $5,000 or something, but I have this version right here, and it's kind of crazy that this guy, the most common version of him, uh, sells for $80, but pretty cool. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Um, I'm a big fan of baseball, and this is iconic. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., you know, the kid, Ken Griffey, um, in his kind of like home run stance. I think this was like home run derby or something with the backwards hat, but still, guys, pretty cool, and that is number seven. Next up, guys, we have another ad icon, and this was a part of that three-pack like I was telling you about, and it is Sonny the Cuckoo. And so, like I said, really cool pop. I love ad icons, and we're gonna see a couple, actually, maybe just one more. I'm looking down at all the pops that I have down here um, in this collection, so give you a little look at what that guy is. But yeah, like I said, came out that same year, 2017. You could only get it if you bought that three pack with the other serial characters. And this guy, I, I didn't mention what his price was, is at $95. I've seen him go anywhere between like 120 to what he is about like right now. Uh, but there you guys go, there is Sonny the Cuckoo, and he is number six. Next up, coming in at number five, this was a exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con in a pop-up shop that they had in 2017, limited to only a thousand pieces. I think this is probably the lowest piece count pop that I have in my collection. And this is uh, Pete Puma, so he's a Looney Tune, obviously, and I love the Looney Tunes pops. They're some of my favorites. We're gonna see a couple more in this video, but uh, yeah, guys, there is Pete Puma. Uh, one of my favorite characters out of all the Looney Tunes. There's tons of characters and they still need to make more. Funko, if you're watching this, make more Looney Tunes. There's still a bunch that you can make. But anyways, guys, the price on this guy right now, according to the Funko app, is at $105. This guy has gone, you know, everywhere in price. Um, at one point, I got him for a really good deal at around like 75 bucks and now it's gone up back to 105 
But there you guys go. There is number five, P Puma. And we're actually going in a row with all the Looney Tunes pops that I have. So coming in at number four, we have the 2000 piece uh, limited edition to San Diego Comic-Con 2017, part of that same pop-up shop. And this is Daffy Duck Stuper Duck. And now I think they only have a couple variations of Daffy Duck. They have like the Duck Dodgers or whatever, the original Daffy Duck. And then they have this guy as well. This is pretty cool. He's got like the Superman logo on his chest. They're able to do that since this is Warner Brothers and everything. Uh, but yeah, guys, the price on this one is at $120. And this guy, like I said, he's gone anywhere. I think I saw him the highest, maybe at like 160 at one point but this is a really cool pop to have like i said i love all the looney tunes pops and this guy i was actually very lucky to get they had extras on the funko shop when this released and uh i was lucky enough i was very fast and was able to get this guy so there you guys go there is stupor duck daffy duck next up we have my last looney tunes pop in the most valuable and this is limited to 3,500 pieces Came out in 2017 to New York City Comic Con, and this is Speedy Gonzalez. So, there you guys go, there is Speedy, another very beloved character in the Looney Tunes line, and this is the only pop of Speedy that they have. So that's why it's always been at a pretty consistent price, and this one's at 120 right now according to the app as well. Even though it's not as low as the other two, like I said, I think it's just a very beloved character. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez and like the other one like Stuper Daffy Duck I was able to get this on the Funko shop they had some extras and I got very very lucky so both of those I got for retail and I that was really cool but anyways guys one of my favorite characters Speedy Gonzalez I just love the detail on this guy with his huge hat I think they nailed it very well and uh, yeah guys there you go we are down to the final three you might be able to guess what i have right here this next one it's the only disney one that i have and i think it might be the most recent as far as like years go out of all of them came out in 2019 san diego comic-con exclusive and we have the carl and ellie two pack now guys this one is very very cool lots of cool detail on this one and so this it captures them when they're kids you know spirit of adventure and everything um, you know, with his little balloon, they also have the uh, My Adventure book in there as well. Um, and this one is trending for $135. And that's even with the shared sticker too. You guys wouldn't believe me, but that, that really is true. That's pretty crazy to think. Lots of really cool detail on this. And I think it's up in that price range because, you know, this is a lot of everybody's favorite Pixar movie, or at least in their top five. And it, and it just holds a lot of cool senti sentimental value, I guess, is the best way to put it. But uh, there you guys go. So that is uh, number three. And now we are down to the final two. Coming in at number two, this is the last ad icon in my top 10 most valuable pops. Coming in at $140, came out in 2018 to the Funko Shop, and we have Toucan Sam. This guy, really rad. Um, favorite ad icon out of all the ones that I have. Turns out to be the most expensive at $140. Uh, but yeah, guys, this guy was pretty limited as well. I remember hearing that I think it was about close to 5,000 that they had made of these. Obviously, there's another version of this guy that came out not too long ago. 1,000 pieces, metallic, metal, whatever. I don't even know what you want to call it. Chrome, kind of metallic, I guess, is the best way to do it. Uh, but I have just the regular version that came out first. And uh, guys, this was not easy. When it was on the Funko shop, um, it was quite the fiasco. I think this was start close to the start of when you know, the Funko shop was having a lot of issues shutting down and everything um, with really slow lines. And I think it was due to Toucan Sam or a couple other pops before. But notably, I remember I was not lucky enough to get this guy. I waited on the shop, like they kept going in and out of stock and everything. And uh, I had to do a trade for this guy, but I'm thankful that I was able to do that. So there you guys go, Toucan Sam. Very cool pop and I'm, I'm glad to have it. But that's not even the top one, guys. You ready for number one? Coming in at Number one, we have the Disney Parks exclusive Indiana Jones with Machete. And this guy is really cool and he's trending currently at $190. So, and this guy, interesting story of how I got this one. This one was actually courtesy of Whatnot. Quick shout out to those guys. Really cool place that you can buy pops from and everything. If you guys haven't checked them out, go and check them out. Uh, but yeah guys, Minty Fresh, and that's the guarantee that you get from whatnot as well, that you get Pop Superman. This guy came out, I, I wanna double check when he came out. 
2016, so it's been a little bit. Um, and this is when I kind of started to know about Fungo Pops a little bit. I wasn't super into them at the time, um, but I don't know how many of these were made, but um, a lot of people love Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones, and that's why I chose this pop when they sent one out to me, the guys over at Whatnot. But this is very cool. Indiana Jones with his machete. I wanna say this is the Temple of Doom, Indiana Jones, um, but still, very cool. Very glad to have that in my collection. I don't know how many people have it, but glad nonetheless. So the guys, there you guys go. There is um, my top 10 most valuable Funko Pops. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, what's your most valuable pop? Did you Do you have any of these pops over here? I'd be interested to know. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, you're the best. Keep staying positive in these times. We're gonna get through them together and uh, it'll be really great once it's over and uh, you know, we'll just have a good story to tell, I guess is the best way to put it. But remember to be kind to one another, always promote positivity and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.